As we come on the air tonight, our heroic firefighters need your help. Volunteer fire departments are in desperate need of water and Gatorade donations. Tonight, Kelly Foster will show us just how hot it's set to get this week. But first, NBC 15's Laura Barcheski tells us why these heroes cannot use tax dollars to hydrate. Laura? Kim, the state requires volunteer fire departments to use tax dollars only on things like equipment or repairs. They're forced to rely on public donations for everything else, even simple things like food and water. Brandy Johnston with the McIntosh Volunteer Fire Department says they only receive about $36,000 a year from Washington County, and none of it can be spent on essential items they need, like water, Gatorade, food, t-shirts, awards, do a Christmas banquet, hand sanitizer, gloves, um, supplies for our rescue boats. They depend on the generosity of the public to either donate the items or the money to pay for it. If we don't have the funds in our own account through donations, then we just reach into our own pockets and do it. And they're not the only ones. The Bell Forest Fire Chief says every volunteer fire department in Alabama deals with these funding restrictions. It's been that way as long as I've, I've been a firefighter. As the summer heat sets in, the items they need the most are water and Gatorade. We can be on the scene for 15 minutes or five hours, depending on the type of, of situation that, that we may run into. And we don't always have the time to run down to the corner store and grab something to drink. So we need to be able to take our water with us. If there are 10 firefighters on a scene and they each get one bottle of water or Gatorade per hour, they'll run through about one case every two hours they're fighting a blaze. We want to make sure that when it's 100 degrees outside, the humidity's you know, high, that we can hydrate our guys, otherwise we're calling the ambulance to come give IVs. Both the Bell Forest and McIntosh Fire Department staff say water or Gatorade donations can be dropped off at the station or they can be reached on Facebook to make arrangements, Kim.